Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash Kings. So guys, if you new channel, please subscribe and this channel. If you want to get on tips and tricks regarding Clash Kings, you will get all the necessary data and details for each event over this channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk you about a brief introduction about the gems, guys. Especially, a lot of people are being confused that what are the offensive gems to use on, what are the defensive ones, how the counter gems works on. So in this particular video, overall solution of each and every of these questions is being cleared on, guys. So please watch the video and this video is going to be very much informative for both the spenders as well as on the non-spenders, guys. So let's begin the video without wasting any time. Let's start with the different of the categories of the gems then we are going to go with the manual guys here you can see over here the level one of the manual manual is being separated on the six different forms guys the first uh, level one is the least number of percentile of the gem attribute that you are going to win and this level six gem is going to give you the maximum percentile of the attrib attributes whether it is rare or on the normal basis guys so let's begin with the sixth one because we are going to talk about the rare gems and what are the things that you are having on so these rare gems can be used in the battlefield and on increasing the stats at a different level like it comes with the first one is the all soldier unit attack and different of the all four unit attack whether it is infantry cavalry and archer and siege guys then same with the defensive gem the rare blue gem which compared with the all four types of troops defense as well as all unit defense then comes the rare green gem it consists of the all soldier unit hp along with the all four individual hp then comes the counter feature the rare purple crystal guys so let me tell you that how this counter infantry or counter cavalry counter archer and counter siege feature works on guys so basically a counter feature means whatever counter uh, if i'm using counter infantry then my troops will increase the chances of countering the infantry troops we know that the basic counter feature that is being decided from the clash of king is counter uh, infantry counters cavalry cavalry counters archer archer counters siege and siege engine counters infantry this is the basic counter scenario guys but if you want to add some of the additional counter feature like i'm if i'm going to use uh, counter infantry or counter archers means my troop will the additional damage towards the infantry and archer troop. like this the counter feature works on now comes the next one that is countered by infantry countered by cavalry countered by archer or countered by siege how this countered by feature works on so it is the complete vice versa of the counter feature like this counter feature works for the offensive purpose means it increases the damage of your troops against the enemy troops on which you are using that counter feature on but for the countered by feature it will reduce the particular troop that you are using countered by feature it will reduce the damage taken by that particular troop like if i'm using countered by a cavalry guys then my troops all the four units infantry cavalry archer and siege it will reduce the damage taken by each of four troops from my end from the enemy one guys so basically the enemy's cavalry will deal less damage to all four types of my troops like this the counter by feature works on so this is the easiest explanation that i can go on with you guys guys so basically this counter feature is for the offensive purpose that is used for your troops giving damage to the opponent troops and the counter by feature is going to work for opponent troops giving damage to your troops like this both of them is quite necessary over here guys then comes the another one that is the defensive damage then comes the infantry basic attack all the four unit basic attack all the four unit basic defense then all unit damage of all four troops as well as all unit all unit receive damage and along with the all four troops then the spatial damages that is being possessed by individual troops like pikeman critical damage it is for t11 of the infantry cavalry charge damage for the charging troops archer critical rate for the archer troops and siege engine offensive damage for spatially for the siege engine troops guys like this 
so these are the rare gems that we are having in the list now the thing is that how you are able to get these rare gems because from level 1 to level 4 you are able to get from just by mining pickaxe or you can just get these particular ones by luck by mining in the gem field guys but the level 6 is not that much easy to get on for that particular one we are having this refined feature guys all you need to do is to collect more and more of these gem essence after getting this gem, uh, gem essence just go to the refined one and after that there is different of the essence re number required for each of the rare gems guys like this guys for attack different hp damage counter uh, countered by uh, is consuming 600 over. when you are having 600 gem then use that particular uh, gem over here okay after that you are going to use the rare blue gem of infantry three pieces if you are having all these three pieces and after that this particular one rare blue gem and along with the three pieces then and refining all the ones guys whatever you are having on 600 is being needed on then the success rate will be 100 percent if you are going to satisfy all these conditions over here then you are able to gain this particular rare gem like this uh, you can get all of the six page of the rare gems by doing the same process of refining guys so this is about the introduction of the gems what are the rare gems how the counter feature and counter by feature works on now the thing is that what are the gems that i am using on guys basically this particular castle is based on infantry plus cavalry for the offensive purpose and for the defensive purpose i am using infantry plus siege engine guys so that's why the offensive and defensive purpose i'm using different the gems guys like you can see over here a uh, counter cavalry guys counter cavalry i'm using out these particular gems very much in my equipment the reason is that many people people is using out cavalry troops in their marches guys so at that particular counter cavalry feature helped me to increase the damage against the opponent's cavalry guys so that is why i'm using out the counter cavalry gems over here then also the unit attack then health attack and damage for the cavalry unit all soldier unit receive uh, damage counter by cavalry again counter by cavalry is going to reduce the damage from opponent's cavalry to all of the four troops that i'm possessing on so that is why countered by cavalry is being used on then cavalry health attack defensive damage all soldier unit hp cavalry health and attack then comes the offensive hero that i'm having on guys for that particular one uh, like you can ying yao is the offensive hero that i'm ha having on here again the counter cavalry gem and also the unit attack health and damage health and countered by infantry means it is going to reduce the damage of opponent infantry to all the four troops that i'm possessing on guys so it will reduce the infantry damage to my troops guys then comes health and attack hp and attack for the siege engine then comes the health and attack for the cavalry unit guys now the thing with the defensive equipment uh, for the offenses i at present i am aligned with the offensive one that is why it is being over here for the defensive setup this equipment is being worn by my selma which is on wall for the defensive purpose you can see over here it is having all soldier unit attack and counter infantry for countering uh, giving additional damage to the opponent's infantry then health and attack for the infantry and cavalry you all unit defense and counter by archer means it, uh, reducing the damage from the enemy archer to all my troops then infantry health and defense also the unit hp and defensive damage infantry health and attack like this these are the gems that i'm using on both the counter gems health attack defense all unit attack damage everything is being used on according to my needs guys so like this you can use the appropriate gems on your equipment i have give you an explanation about the counter and countered by gems that's all today's video guys i hope that this explanation will help you a little while and you will definitely going to use some of the gems and use the thing that i mentioned on so that's all today's video i hope that you guys really like the video content if you find the video information useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure i will be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep going with gamers forum thank